Here we go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Alexander, the man of wonder. Did you know there was a legend of a secret order born in ancient Egypt called the Sinai? Oh, really? You can Google it sometime. <laughs> it's been known for thousands of years to be the keepers and protectors of tricks, half tricks, and real magic. Charles Ledbetter in 1884 high-ranking official of Theosophical Society, now located in Ojai, California, <laughs> discovered that objects maintain the vibration of its owners long after they have died. Don't, Don't worry, I'm interested She's in the vibrations. vibrations. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're going um, to attempt to demonstrate that with a, with a shuffled deck of cards. It's very important that the deck is thoroughly shuffled or else this doesn't work. I'm not, I'm not the great sh greatest shuffler in the world. Okay, good enough. <laughs> Can I pick on you? Sure. What's your name? Angela. Angela. I'm oh. What's your name? Three cards, Angela. Okay. And I'm going to skip one and go to you. What's your name? Angela. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. We've got another Angela here. Thank you. Angel. 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 There we go. Can I pick on you? Casey. Casey. And I'm going to give you three cards. Casey. <laughs> All right. So uh, what you are now holding is several cards. If you will look at your cards, don't let anyone, I will, I'll turn my back. <laughs> one card is going to jump out at you. Now one card is selecting you, so that card wants you. So keep that card and dis, discard the rest of them on the table. So you should only be holding one card in your hand. Okay, are we done? Let's just hide those. Great. Put it between the palms of your hand like this. And in a moment, I'm going to start calling cards. If I call your card, don't say anything until I ask. Then acknowledge that I called your card, but don't tell me the name of the card, no matter what. Got it? Good. Have you ever felt something that you couldn't see, but you know it's there? So I can't see the card between your hands but I know it's there. Also, there's the vibration of your hand going into the card, the vibration of the card going into your hand, and all that vibration is going to go into your brain. If you close your eyes, you'll see little specks of energy. Imagine those specks of energy turning into the image of your card, and I'm going to close my eyes and see what images come into my mind. I'm seeing the five of clubs, the king of clubs, the jack of spades, the nine of diamonds. Did I call anybody's card? Yes. I called yours, yours, and yours? Wow. Three in one shot. <laughs> That's a rarity. <laughs> okay, let, me, let, me, let me start with you first. Let's see what I get here from you. Concentrate on that image. Ooh. This is upbeat energy. This is a very uh, sharp... And I'm sober. <laughs> okay, this card indicates to me you're, you're, you're one who has sharp perception. You're not easily fooled. Yeah. And you don't go by one-sided opinions or beliefs. You like to check out the facts before you make up your mind. Is that correct? That's correct. Are you holding the jack of spades? Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And Angela? Yes. Okay, Angela, let's see what we get for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tune in. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's powerful. Good job. Angela, uh, you, you 
you have some admirers, some uh, gentlemen, an older gentleman, <laughs> uh, somewhat of an intellectual, uh, lots of new growth coming to you as well. Uh, are you holding the king of clubs by any chance? I am. <laughs> okay, uh, Casey. All right, Casey. Uh, that's too many of you now. Come on, Casey. Let's see what I can get here. Oh, okay, Casey. Uh, okay, Casey. Uh, uh, whatever, whatever has been troubling you lately, or uh, any kind of struggles you've been dealing with in the last couple months. Don't worry about it. You, <laughs> you, you have a very highly influential personality. People are drawn to you. Things are going to fall into place. Yeah. Are you holding the five of clubs? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> awesome. That was great. Right. Can you give that a little mix? Oh. Just mix it up so. It's well mixed, okay? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. And once you do that, lay five cards here. One, two, three, four, and five. Face down on the table. Great. That's very good. And your name? Orit. Orit? Yes. Orit. Okay, Orit, I have a job for you. There are five cards here on the table. What I'd like you to do is any one of the five, pick it up, put your vibration into that card, look at it, memorize the card, and show it to a few people around you if you like, and put it right back in the same position so when I turn around, I won't know what position the card was in. So I'm going to turn my back while you do that, and then let me know when you're ready. And make sure I'm not peeking. Watch me carefully. No mirrors here. <laughs> We're good. Good. <laughs> I can turn around? Yeah, turn around. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right, let's try something here. Now, these cards are vibrating. But one card especially has your energy on. But before we do anything, let's give it a mix so nobody knows the position of the cards. And a bit more impressive, right? Let's see what happens here. <coughs> okay, I'm just going to get the feel for. How do you say that? Orit. Orit? Orit. This is not Orit's. <laughs> uh, this is not Orit's. Uh, maybe. I don't know. No. This one is vibrating. That one is vibrating. What position was your card in? There. Fourth, fourth position? Yeah. Right there? What was the name of your card? Uh, Ace of Diamonds. Boom! <laughs> Vibrations tune us into things that ordinarily you couldn't see. Let me demonstrate that. Uh, here, I'll give it another hand. Oops. I told you I'm a terrible shot. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good enough? Good enough? No, one more time. One more, one more time. Oh Whoops. <laughs> okay, one more time. One. Here, I'll do it one more time. Fair? Fair. Fair. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have you then. What's your name? Walter. Walter. Walter, I'm going to riffle through the deck like this, and you say stop anytime you like. Stop. Stop. Oh, wait, I have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay? All right. Let's go. Stop. Right there? Right there. See that card? Yep. Touch it. The vibration is very important. Okay. Let it go. That's great. You, did you see it too? You saw it? Great. Okay, that's good. Two both of you saw it. Now, you could have picked any one of these 52 out of 52 in the deck. There are no duplicates here. So I'm going to give it another mix because I know your card is somewhere in the middle. We don't even want to know that. 
Okay, so I'm gonna. Whoops. <laughs> oh, okay, there. Is good enough? <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to attempt the impossible. I'm going to put the whole deck in my pocket, and I'm going to feel through the, through the cards until I find one card that vibrates. And sometimes I can do it. Not all the time, so if I can do it. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm getting something. I'm getting something. Walter? I'm Walter. Walter, I'm getting something. Oops. What was the name of your card? Dennis Bain. Hey! <laughs> Dennis Bain. Only one tennis Bain is in the whole deck. Okay. And now, um, oh, would you please give that just a quick little mix? Shuffle or mix it? Uh, shuffle, mix, whatever, whatever you want. And the, the idea, the idea is to make 15 cards face down in a pile and uh, dealt from anywhere in the deck, the bottom, the middle, the top, all different places. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, on okay. top. Oh, yeah. 15 15. cards. 15. Fifteen cards. Okay, there's fifteen cards here, and with the help of your sending me an image, I'm going to be able to get the cards. What I'm going to start doing is dealing is pulling cards off the bottom. I'm going to put them in the box here. Yes. Put them in the box, and I'm going to deal from the bot from the bottom up. And as I call the cards out, I'm going to pull it from the bottom up like this over my head. So concentrate on the um, first, just the image of the card, the color, the color first, red. You see in red? Yes. A heart? Seven hearts? Yes. Yeah. It is? Yeah. Wow. You guys are good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pull again from the bottom. Bottom. I'm going to pull. I'm pulling my head. Think of, the, think of the color. Black. Black card. Think of the suit. I'm getting a um, spade. Uh, number or letter? Ten of spades? Yep. Yep. Yes. Yes. Again, I'm pulling from the bottom, so you can see there. And I don't want to put it over my head. Uh, think, think, think. Send me that. Send me that image. Uh, red. Diamond. King of diamonds? Yeah. Yes. All right. Hey, look, we don't have to go through all 15 cards. You can stop me anywhere you want. <laughs> It'd take too long to go through all 15. So give me a number. Where should we stop? How many more should I do? Seven. Seven more. Seven more she wants. <laughs> okay. Again, from the bottom. Okay. Send me those. Send me that image. Uh, black. Spade. Two of spades. Yeah. And you shuffle the deck, right? Twice. And twice. Is it the nine of clubs? Yeah. That's a good card. That's one, right? Uh, six more to go. That's two. Yeah, five more. Five more to go. Uh, I missed this one. Oh. Uh, okay. okay, probably I didn't didn't have you send it to me strong enough. Okay, let's, let's try that again. Okay? okay? Send it to me. Think loud in your mind. Heart. The ace of hearts. Yep. Yes. Okay. So we got two more to go? Two more? Two more? 
Three. Three more to go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Again, I'm pulling it from the bottom. It's a diamond. I see that. Four diamonds? Yeah. 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 All right. Getting closer, closer and closer. Okay. Again, I'm pulling from the bottom. It's a black card. Spade? Yep. Mm -hmm. Jet speed. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Last, one. Last one. Last one. You got this. And I'm pulling from the bottom. <laughs> you can we're see pulling, I'm pulling, pulling, pulling from the bottom. And we're pulling from the bottom. This was the last one, right? You yep. stopped me on the last yes. one. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the C and I told gave me the prediction that you would land on this card. And I wrote it down earlier. So let's see. Ten of clubs? Open it up. Don't even. You guys are great. No, you, sir, are great. <laughs> All right, you're probably wondering about this black box. Let me tell you about the mystery of the black box. It was handed down to me by my great great grandfather. And inside the box, we have five yellow containers. And they're all identically the same. And the box, my great great grandfather, when he was a member of the CNI, put this amulet inside the box. And I'll tell you more about that amulet in a minute. But first of all, let's get started. <coughs> and I'll tell you more in a minute. Let's mix it up. <coughs> all right. Would you reach in there and pick one? Oops, I'm sorry. Go ahead, pick one. Pick one. You pick one, and you pick one. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, um, first of all, I have to tell you that one of you is holding a ten dollar bill, and I don't know who because we mix it up. And my grandfather will be able to find it, but we can't find it unless it registers in your mind, and it was kind of like a lie detector test. So what I'm going to do is turn my back. Open up your thing. Just peek inside. Don't even let your neighbors see that you're holding it. And uh, let me know when you're ready. Mm -hmm. It just has to register in your mind. But don't tell anybody that you're holding a $10 bill. It should be a complete secret. Are we ready? Yes. yes. I can turn around? Yes. yes. All right. Nothing needs to be said. The amulet will find it. <laughs> open it up. Open it up. Take it out and show everybody. Okay, that's <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a um, 50 cent piece in each one of yours. Would you put the lid on that? Yes. Oh, I, I need one person. I need one person to hold it. Uh, could you be the one person to hold it? What I'd like you to do is put your energy, you know, keep the top off. And you're going to put that in the, on the top. Hold your energy, put your energy into that, and then sign your initials. Here. Good foul. Oh. There we go. Okay, so open up your top so I can put uh, this in and put your top back on. And you have your top on. Okay, you one extra. We don't need it. Just leave that here. Okay, put your thing in the box. Did you put it in? Oh, I'm sorry. Put it, put the, uh, and your signature. 
or else I won't know that you're holding it. Oh, let me see. It's okay. It is okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay. 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 <laughs> so I'm going to mix it up. So there's one with your vibration on it. And your name again was Orit. Orit, I'm going to find your container by the amulet. And it's not that one. I just go one by one until I feel a vibration. It's not that one. Ah, this is it. This is yours. Sure. I know it. I know it's yours. It's vibrating like crazy. Whoa. Okay, would you examine that coin? Uh, what's the date on it? Nineteen seventy-one. Great. Watch. I'm gonna put this coin, a silver coin. Inside, okay, that's sealed. I want you to hold it, put it inside the box, close the lid, and just hold that right there. All right, Sir Isaac Newton, 17th century mathematician and scientist, very rarely known as an alchemist, but he practiced the art with a passion. He wrote over a million words on the subject. But when he died in 1727, the Royal Society deemed it unworthy for print. It was rediscovered in the 20th century. Modern scholars will condone that Isaac Newton was first and foremost an alchemist. Though he couldn't turn base metal to gold, he would have loved my grandfather's vibrating amulet. I think the amulet probably turned that silver coin to gold by now. Would you please open it up, take out the envelope, and pour it next to this silver coin here? Whoa. <laughs> What's the date of the coin? 1971. <laughs> The biggest vibration of all was the Big Bang, expanding the universe billions of light years across the sky. String theory says that all the particles in the universe are like vibrating strings, tying the whole universe into a magnificent whole. And in about five billion years from now, the sun will start its helium burning process it will turn into a giant red star. It will devour Mercury. It will devour Mars. It will devour the Earth. And it will devour all the other planets until the whole universe is sucked into black hole. Until there's pure emptiness. <laughs> Silence. Hindu cosmology says that the universe is psychically creates itself and destroys itself every four to eight million solar years. You know what that means? That means the Big Bang will happen again. Stretching all across the universe. Thank you all for your great vibrations here tonight. And please do come back and see us again.
of the unseen world of magical wonders. Thank you. 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 Thank you.